For General Motors, it is a growing crisis. Today, just hours after GM announced its plan for compensating victims of crashes linked to an ignition defect, the carmaker recalled still more cars, in fact, seven and a half million of them, including Chevy Malibus and Pontiac Grand Prix, some as old as 1997. Here is transportation correspondent Jeff Pegues. The latest recall is because of another ignition switch problem. The key moves out of the on position, shutting the car off and disabling its safety systems. General Motors says that resulted in seven crashes, three deaths, and eight injuries. The recall comes on the same day GM announced it could start paying tens of millions of dollars to victims of crashes related to its first recall, which also dealt with faulty ignition switches. Good morning, ladies and gentlemen. Ken Feinberg, the compensation expert hired by GM, is in charge of approving those claims. Those eligible under his plan are drivers, passengers, or pedestrians involved in an accident due to a faulty ignition switch. Feinberg is expecting thousands of claims with compensation for fatalities starting at $1 million. How high do you think the damage amount will go? In the worst case scenario, double digit millions. It's speculative. I'd have to see the form, the claim. I'd have to see what the claimant is saying in the but form. But could it reach that sure, number? Sure, sure it could. Feinberg says GM's CEO, Mary Barra, has signed off on the numbers. In a statement referring to the victims and their families, she said, we are taking responsibility for what has happened by treating them with compassion, decency, and fairness. I think it's a little late for compassion and fairness and decency. Dorel John Sue Tut's 25-year-old daughter was killed in 2009. The family says they later learned the car she was driving had a faulty ignition switch. How do you compensate for the unrealized potential of that person? And my daughter was someone who had an, an extraordinary amount of potential. She settled with GM, but is now considering whether to file a claim. Scott, the Center for Auto Safety, said today that it may be tough to prove a claim has merit. They expect that most claims filed will be on older crashes that occurred before 2012. Evidence of ignition switch failure may not still be available. Jeff, thanks very much. We called this a crisis, and so far GM has issued 54 recalls involving more than 25 million vehicles and defects linked to 16 deaths. We have a list of all the recalled cars on our website, cbsnews.com.